what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard this go around be looking at black adder's best insults by nationality oh this ought to be fun let's go on ahead and get into it oh no the, the bloody russians have pulled out of the war <laughs> well we soon saw them off and waiter miserable slant-eyed sausage-eating swine <laughs> the russians are on our side <laughs> so the show's cancelled permanently but what about the men's morale, sir, with the Russians out of the war and everything? Oh, for goodness sake, Blackadder, have you been living in a cave? The Americans joined the war yesterday. So how is that going to improve the men's morale, sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gibbering imbecile, they've brought with them the largest collection of Charlie Chaplin films in existence. <laughs> <laughs> the largest collection of Charlie Chaplin films? Uh, I... <laughs> What the f George, are you trying to tell me that you are the general's perfect woman? Well, yes, I rather think I am. <laughs> I'm going to marry her on Saturday, and I want you to be my best man. <laughs> I don't think that would be a very good idea, sir. And why not? Because there's something wrong with your fiance, sir. <laughs> oh, my God, she's not Welsh, is she? <laughs> no, Welsh. <laughs> Have you ever been to Wales, Warren? No. Well, I've often thought I'd like to. Well, don't. It's a ghastly place. <laughs> Huge gangs of tough, sinewy men roam the valleys, terrifying people with their close hearty singing. <laughs> <laughs> their close hearty singing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you need half a pint of phlegm in your throat just to pronounce the place name. <laughs> Never ask for directions in Wales, Baldwin. You'll be washing spit out of your hair for a fortnight. <laughs> the French, of course. My Lord Emperor, I, the Duke de Darling, bring news. The English have reached Waterloo. Good, prepare to attack. Very well. Uh, but first, I would like to ask, why do we want to invade Britain in the first place? I mean, their wine is made of the pee-pee of cows, and their women all have big beards. We invade, darling, because the British think they are so tough. They think we're French as sissies, they call us weeds and whoopsies and big girls' blouses. <laughs> With respect, my emperor, we are whoopsies. We invented the tapestry, the souffle, and the sweet liqueur. We will be slaughtered the minute we <laughs> Do not despair. It is my firm belief that God hates the British. He will intervene miraculously and send us a glorious victory on this field of Waterloo. Oh, bravo! Yo, just... <laughs> <laughs> I had the French insult themselves. That's stinking hilarious. A lovely uniform today, by the way. Oh, thank you. I think it works. <laughs> there have been subversive mutterings amongst the men. You'll recall the French army last year at Verdun, where the top echelon suffered from horrendous uprisings from the bottom. <laughs> yes, sir, but surely that was traced to a shipment of garlic eclairs. Uh, bonjour, monsieur. It's French. So is eating frogs, cruelty to geese, and urinating. <laughs> but there's no reason to inflict it on the rest of us. <laughs> have a cup of coffee and some shepherd's pie, please. Oh, we don't serve pies anymore. My French clientele consider pies uncooked. Now, how do they think that a nation that eats snails and would go to bed with the kitchen sink if it put on a tutu <laughs> is in any position that preaches cuteness? If you would excuse me. <laughs> do just. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give it to the French, aren't they? Great God! Of course, of course. Now I've got my lovely fire. I'm as happy as a Frenchman who's invented a pair of self-removing trousers. <laughs> it's the latest issue of King and Country. Oh, damn inspiring stuff. The magazine that tells the Tommies the truth about the war. Or alternatively, the greatest work of fiction since Vows of Fidelity were included in the French damn. marriage service. <laughs> I don't believe it. A German prison cell. For two and a half years, the Western Front has been as likely to move as a Frenchman who lives next door to a brothel. <laughs> and last night, the Germans advance a mile and we land on the wrong side. Me old mate, we're both working class. We both hate these rich bastards. I mean, come on. Come on, me old mucker. Just, just let me go. You've got nothing against me. <laughs> on the contrary. I hate you English with your boring trousers and shiny toilet paper your ridiculous preconceptions that Frenchmen are great lovers. I'm French and I'm hung like a baby cat. <laughs> 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 
Yo! That hung like a baby carrot. Oh my god. Germans. She is famous for having the worst personality in Germany. And as you can imagine, that's up against some pretty stiff competition. Now then, soldier. You looking forward to giving those Frenchies a damn good licking? Uh, no, sir. It's the Germans we should be licking, sir. Don't be <laughs> I wouldn't lick a German if he was glazed in honey. We have a message from the Baron von Richthofen, the greatest living German. Which, considering his competition, consists entirely of very fat men in leather shorts burping to the tune of Shuba coming out of the mountain. There's no great. <laughs> started because of the vile Hun and his villainous empire building. George, the British Empire at present covers a quarter of the globe, while the German Empire consists of a small sausage factory in Tanganyika. <laughs> I hardly think that we can be entirely absolved from blame on the imperialistic front. Uh, oh, no. No, sir. Absolutely not. <laughs> and no casual girlfriend. Skirt. If only. When I joined up, we were still fighting colonial wars. If you saw someone in a skirt, you shot him and nicked his country. <laughs> Sometimes you sound as if you very well haven't enjoyed soldiering at all. Well, you see, George, I did like it. Back in the old days, when the prerequisite of a British campaign was that the enemy should, under no circumstances, carry guns. Even spears made us think twice. The kind of people we like to fight were two feet tall and armed with dry grass. <laughs> oh, now, come off it, sir. What about Mboto Gorge, for heaven's sake? Yes, that was a bit of a nasty one. 10,000 Watusi warriors, armed to the teeth with kiwi fruit and guava heart. <laughs> After the battle, instead of taking prisoners, we simply made a fruit salad. <laughs> How lucky you English are to find the toilet so amusing! For us, it is a mundane and functional item. For you, it's the basis of an entire culture. <laughs> oh my goodness, absolutely hilarious. I hope y'all enjoyed. That's hilarious. Some of the, oh my God, some of the f funny ways they insulted everybody, basically. It's just, oh my goodness. I've got to take and watch more of this show. I've got to watch more of this show. I've started, I, I actually streamed the first episode of season two on Twitch, which that's something y'all be interested in, me taking and streaming episodes of Black Adder over there for a reaction on Twitch. Let me know in the comments because I'll definitely take it and do it. We'll take a pick a day and that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll start at like <clears throat> 1 o'clock your time, 8 o'clock my time, and we'll we'll take and go until, uh, let's see, about 1 o'clock my time, 6 o'clock your time. Uh, just looking straight at Black Adder. So, yeah. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. I know I did. I Dude, some of this stuff just tickles me so much with the way they take and bring stuff across. It's too funny. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.